Hello, the speed of Kurt here. Hey, Black Sparrow, how are you doing? What do you mean no audio? Is there no audio on my stream, or do you mean something else? What's the dealio, as they say? Let me just, uh, check this myself. Let me just, uh, okay, check this myself. Let me just, uh... Well, you're not talking about my stream, so that's reassuring. But hello, I hope you're doing alright. Um, I'm gonna get started. Play in full screen mode, there we go. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> oh yeah, listen to that main menu music. Absolutely epic. Okay, we're in Svartalfheim, and the map is not uncovered yet because I keep dying. If there's food somewhere here, like if there's enemies here that drop food, I could probably cook it on there. I'm guessing that's what that's for. Because I can't get out of Svartalfheim. And, uh... Since I can't get out... I mean, there's got to be a way to eat, right? Because I'll get hungry eventually. There's got to be a place to sleep. Maybe I can sleep at that entrance area. But yeah, even if that's the case, then there's got to be something I can do for food. Otherwise, I'm going to starve here. Because I've not yet found a way to reach Jaime. Okay, here's this dead guy. If you think that's what you do with alcohol, I fear you may have a drinking problem. Okay, that's funny. Now, what, 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 what do I have in my inventory again? Uh, nothing that could revive a dead person, I don't think. Uh, yep, my staff is equipped. Let's see if there's anything that I can do here. Sixth sense power. Uh, apparently there's not much I can do. Uh, okay. Check the map. Yeah, it's a dead end. Just a dead end. Actually, is that a path I can take? No, it's not. Unfortunately not. Yucky Spoda. Ooh! A gelatinous cube. Wobbling on the ground nearby is a vaguely translucent green creature, apparently made out of slime. It is oddly cubical in shape. I wonder if I can follow it. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> no cube here. Oh, this loops back around to here, okay. I had not fully explored the place. <laughs> there were spots that I had not seen yet. Troll, nope, I don't want to fight a troll right now. Don't know if you're still watching Black Sparrow, but um, it was nice to see you at the start there. Oh Jesus, that spider just gave me a tiny scare. Okay, this is... Ah, there's a path branching off down there, right. I missed that last time. I absolutely missed it. Here it is. Now I get to find out a little bit more about this place. 
now that I have found the way to explore further. Alright, Jaime's up there, so let's explore downward. Oh, it's this bloody cave where I died. <laughs> the winding passage is split by a deep chasm that ominously blocks your path. A faint but persistent breeze seems to pull you towards it and to into its depths. Yeah, I'm not falling for that again. Let's check out this way. Oh, Jesus, what the... Oh, okay. Wizard. Wizard elf. I'm gonna kill it this time. Oh shit, I should have saved while I was safe. God damn it. No! Oh no, no, no. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. <laughs> Dodge. There we go. Get him. Oh shit, I, I don't have a way to defend against that. Oh my god. It has spells that I can't block. This lad has magic that I can't defend against. Oh, thank god. The Svartalf motions for you to hold, then conjures a scroll which it tosses to you. Berserker! So good to see you! Not much is up, how are you doing? As he teleports away, you study the scroll to find out it contains a teleportation spell. You carefully commit the spell to memory. Cool. Oh, hang on, I can probably use that to cross the chasm. I, um, I don't know if I should save or not. Because my health is so low. Oh, no. No. Oh, god damn it, I tried to run. I'm dead. I am so dead. Oh, there it is. God damn it. Nothing much, just playing COD? Awesome. Ah, oh, damn it. I got a spell. I could have crossed the chasm if I went back in the other direction. God damn it. Uh, I need to find a place in this pl I need to find somewhere here where I can rest and recover my health. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to survive. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Time to attack. <laughs> oh, god damn it. He's so fast with the middle strike. Ow. Well, I beat him, but at, I, I, I've, I won, but at what cost? <laughs> Searching the greedy dwarf's possessions, you find five coins, which you quickly take with you. Oh, hell yeah. I got money. I have nine money now. And nothing to spend it on. Okay, that's the dead end. Oh, actually, I'd probably have a shield if I picked warrior at the start. If I chose to be a warrior. Oh, really? I can't go up? Ah, okay. 
Alright, well I guess we'll be going to the right then. Hopefully I won't have to fight another elf, because those guys are so dangerous. I won't be able to beat one when I'm missing half my health. Oh, I was not prepared for Svartalfheim. Oh, look at this place. The tunnel opens up into a huge cavern filled almost entirely by a softly glowing lake. The shore is decorated by elaborate kelp-like formations, as well as oddly unfamiliar water plants. The plant is spongy to the touch and covered in a vaguely glowing slime. You feel dirty from touching them. That's interesting. Stretching as far as you can see in the underground illumination is a placid lake that seems to glow softly as a result of some algae-like creature. Alright, um, can I maybe cut off one of these? That's not a bad idea, but you'd need a more suitable tool for the job. Okay. Alright, well, let's see what's over this way then. Oh god. I'm riddled with anxiety, waiting for an elf or a troll to catch me and beat the crap out of me. Because there's no way I'm going to win a fight with one of those. I might be able to beat a dwarf, but um, not an elf. The elves have like those unblockable, sp those undodgeable spells, and it's really annoying. Oh god. Troll alert. Troll in the dungeon. Okay, cool, it stopped following me. Oh, I can switch out of running. Don't want to use it. God damn it. Don't want to use up all my stamina and all that. Oh, and there's a dwarf. No, stop running. Oh, for God's sake. I can't disable running. I want to disable running. Ah, god damn it, I can't dodge that, it's too fast. Ah, bloody dwarves. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm using up my health because I have no stamina. Oh my god. Oh, for f God damn it. Oh. I'm considering loading the other save that is not in Svartalfheim and spending some time looking for bandits and stuff so I can buy some stuff that'll help me. Near the circle of stone is a volcanic crater. There appears to be lava inside. You don't think it's wise to try and find out how hot it is. I really think that it's... I mean, I really feel like you're meant to cook stuff on there, but what's the use in being able to cook stuff here if, like, there's nowhere to rest? Like, it's a one-sided thing. Hey, it's a gelatinous cube! Hello! I love the cubes. They're so cute. They go... And they slide across the ground, making squishy noises. I love my cubes. My, my, my gelatinous cubes. They make good pets.
I like the music. Okay, let's go up from here. See what's up this way. Okay, I've almost reached Jaime. I feel like this place isn't going to be as straightforward as reaching Jaime, though. I'm probably going to have to make some kind of bargain for him. See, he's there. I could reach him by going north from there. But I feel like it's not that simple. It's not going to be that simple to rescue him. I wouldn't be surprised if I had to fight that elf that's um, guarding him. That Trivaldi told to watch him. Oh no. <laughs> no, I don't want the elves. Please, no. Nope. No. Oh man. Now I'm gonna use up my health trying to kill it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah! Oh god damn it. No! Oh! I hate that! I can't dodge it! Bloody knife spell! Oh my god! He hit me with my own spell! Ah! God damn it! The Svartalf- uh, yep. Yeah. The scroll that gives you the blink power. Yep. Okay. I could probably use the blink power to get over the chasm. Oh man. I really hope there's somewhere to rest. Oh, that's right, I was going to try resting near the entrance, the place where I came in. Ooh, a chest. And a troll. I, I, I suspect a trap. Oh, hey, Black Sparrow! Awesome to see you. For real this time. <laughs> How are you doing? Two enchanted spheres illuminate the room as if by moonlight. They hum softly and a mild pulsation can be seen inside. It appears to be a dead troll. Since Odin is a god of battle, you suppose that somebody fought and killed the troll and left the body here as an offer. You find yourself in an eerily lit shrine, decorated by two ravens and a large ornamental spear. This place is obviously dedicated to Odin, lord of the Aesir. In the middle of the shrine stands a heavy wooden chest, seemingly melded into the altar itself. A glowing vial appears to be inside. Against the black wall, meticulously carved runic symbols spell out the name Odin. The spear is called Gungir, uh, Gungnir, and is the rune-tipped weapon of Odin, which he first wielded in the war against the Vanir. You believe the raven on the left is called Hugin, bearer of thought, and the one on the right is Munin, carrier of memory. Just had the worst math class? Oh god, that sucks. <laughs> your poor brain. Is your brain cell okay? I think you might have a bit loud audio on the stream. There's a bit of distortion in the audio. Ah, are you talking about my voice? Don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to try moving the mic away from me, from my face a little bit. Okay, there. Um, hopefully that'll be a bit better. Uh, I, I really feel like this is a trap, but I'm gonna go for it. Try as you might, you are unable to pry the chest open. Okay. 
Using your mighty voice, you command the chest to open and remain open for you, but nothing happens. Game is a bit loud now, just a tad. Alright. Moving the mic just a little bit closer to my face. Hopefully that's better. Yes, it is really dead, and you do not want to carry a dead troll around. Trust me, you would not like the smell. Hmm. Maybe I can walk around the thing? <laughs> No? Okay. The spheres are firmly, are firmly embedded in the rock. Not that you would need a light source around here anyway. All of Svartalheim is lit from an indistinct source. Hmm. I thought I might be able to walk around the spheres and get to them from the other side. Apparently not though. Um, can I... Well, actually, no. Can I break the spheres? It makes a faint ringing sound like a bell. The sphere does not need stabbing, okay. What about mead? Can I leave an offering? Oh, damn it. You hear a voice in your head. If glory you seek, bring flesh and blood, bone and ash to the place of death. Okay. Uh, does my cooked meat count? You don't think seasoning the meat with the chest is going to improve its flavour? Okay. Apparently I need something dead. Possibly, uh... Uh, possibly, uh, fresh meat, maybe? Or just something dead? <laughs> Alright, let's have a look down a little bit. What's down here? Ooh! Bright, clear water falls from the ceiling and meanders its way out of the cavern. You get the impression that this entire place was shaped over the centuries by the water passing through. You thought the dragon... Yeah. You thought the dragonflies were a kind of fly, but this one rather looks like a kind of tiny dragon as it buzzes around you. Bright mushrooms and toadstools, coloured in bright red and in bright red and yellow, litter the river bank on both sides. Can I grab a mush a, a mushroom? Oh, what if I die? You hope the toadstools won't quickly lose their colourful shine if removed from the area, and then you'd just be left with a smelly, inedible fungus. It quickly moves out of reach. You're not sure if it would bite, and you probably shouldn't find out. Quiet, you might scare it off. Okay. <laughs> um, if you do the um, exclamation mark 8 ball at the start of your message rather than after the question, it should work. Oh shit, hydrate! All right, just give me one minute. Okay, no bad guys here. All right, I don't know if this really actually works as a pause, but I'm gonna leave it on here. I'll be right back with something to drink. Returned. I have a little carton of milk here, and I'm going to hydrate with it. I hope you boys will be hydrating with me. Here we go. Ah, nice. Nice. Mm. 
There you go, Black Sparrow. That's the way to do it. Stay hydrated. Uh, okay, mushroom tunnel is over there. Let's see what's over here. You've got Water Berserker? Even better. Water is always the best thing to hydrate with. Dihydrogen monoxide. Hell yeah. I love consuming dihydrogen monoxide. All my homies love dihydrogen monoxide. Oh, it's the coral cave. Okay. Uh, hang on. Ah, this menu lets you switch between running and walking. Okay, cool. I'll keep that in mind. Oh no, troll. Oh, thank god. It's not following. Here we go. Yes, right, it's called dihydrogen monoxide. I am noob in chemistry. Oh, look, I'm no expert either. <laughs> Believe me. Oh, I did not come prepared. Right, I'm gonna see if I can rest in the entrance. Because I doubt I could rest in these tunnels. I wonder if it's possible to attack the slime. It seems Gelatinous Cube is not interested in the dagger. Okay, okay. I can take a hint. What I said about Hydroxide is basically acid. Ah, okay. Well, I didn't know that because I am a noob in chemistry. And if I'm able to rest in the entrance, then that'll be awesome. Then I'll just need a source of food. The music is different here, which is a good sign. Hey, there's the dragonfly. Um, the music is different, which is a plus. Yes, I can rest here. Yes! Yes! Uh, my health has gone up, but is not full. Oh no, stream elements. It seems my random insult command is not working properly. I apologize for that, I'll, I'll see if I can fix that after the stream. My health is almost full, so I'm gonna... Mm. I'll make a new save. Emergency save! Emergency save! There we go. You beat Smelter Demon. I have not played Dark Souls 2, so I have no idea what the Smelter Demon is, but I do know how hard Dark Souls is because I have played some of Dark Souls Remastered. So good work, Sparrow. I'm impressed. I managed, uh, a while ago, I managed to beat the, uh, the, I think, I forget what they're called, the Bell Tower Gargoyles in Dark Souls Remastered, but the only reason I was able to do it was because, um, uh, because I had someone who, uh, who joined my, my game and they did most of the work because I suck. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I can blink across the gap. Oh! Blink is how I can get to the blue flowers in Midgard, and how I can get up that, um, 
that uh, that that uh, cliff face uh, where there's that building. Holy shit! I can't wait to get back and try that. You finished all of Dark Souls Remastered the other week. Nice. I used Solaire, the Sunbrew, in the fight against the Gargoyles. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Look at that mushroom. The bright toadstools do a good job of brightening up the dreary passage, except that you fear they might be poisonous. So upon reflection, the Grand Lake does a much better job. Okay, I'm not going to try touching it. Here we go. It was way too easy. Oh, and I used him again, him also against Smo and Ornstein and beat them on, in, in the first try. Ah, oh, okay, yep. <laughs> I regret using Solaire. <laughs> uh, well, next time, do it without him. Your lodestone seems unnaturally attracted to something in the room. Ooh. Is it attracted to the jewels? East. East. West. South. West. North. East. South. You sense there is something hidden right here. Either it is extremely magnetic, or Regan must have enchanted this lodestone for you. Okay, let's see what it is. There appears to be an invisible object on the ground here. As you pick up the item, the invisibility spell is broken. You find yourself holding a small chest. Oh shit. What's happening? One believes that you hold something that belongs to oneself. One requests that you hand this over. Uh I might be streaming some Dark Souls someday here soon. Come join me when I do. Hell yeah! Um if this game wasn't so fucky with alt tabbing, I'd um follow your channel right now, but I'll do that after the stream. All right, chat. All right, chat. Do I hand over the chest? Do I hand over the titties? Yes or no? No. Are you sure? And then reload it for fuck's sake. Uh, I don't really like reloading just to change an answer in games. <laughs> hype, thank you for the hype, Berserker. Alright. Um, I feel like if I say no, I'm gonna die. But... Ask the 8-ball for me. Ask the 8-ball. Let's get the 8-ball's opinion. Most likely! Okay! One thanks you for the honesty, and one pledges a valuable gemstone as a reward. One wishes you a pleasant stay in one's cavern. Okay. I'm very curious about what was in the chest, but I did get something nonetheless. This is a piece of gem from the dazzling gemstone cavern in Svartalfheim. It weighs two murka. And this is a dead end, apparently. Okay. So all this room is for is for using the gemstone to find that chest. He ugly. <laughs> ugly touch your boobs. <laughs> uh, I gave him my boobies. And he gave me a precious jewel in return. Relationships in 2020 be like... Okay, um... 
I might head back to the entrance and then save one more time and then head up toward where um, Jaime is. Nope. Oh god, it's still following me. Blink! Haha! <laughs> I cannot be stopped. Go away, tiny little man. Ooh, for a moment there, I thought I was going to have to do a really quick blink across the gap. Oh god, a troll. A f a f a f Frogging troll. Ooh, this one is uh, persistent. Come on. Ooh. Ah. Oh, close one. Go, Rosanthia, go! Oh, there it is. It's not following me anymore. I can switch back to walking. I would be so mad if I died now. After travelling all the way through that cave. Here we go. Alright, uh, let's rest for an hour. Uh, let's rest until we're like... fully restored. Okay, one more. There we go. And I will... Eat a ration. There we go. And then... I will save. There we go. Now let's go find Jaime and rescue that kid. Oh, for God's sake. Because I am sick of being in this place. It's too dangerous, and there's not enough friendly people. There's nobody here letting me touch their boobs except myself. Ah, oh, I finished my little carton of milk. Oh no, not an elf. Maybe if I just keep walking between these two screens, it'll give up. Let's hope. Oh, for a moment there, I thought it wasn't going to appear. Hold on. Oh, good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now I have to fight it. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate that so much. Oh, my God. I hate that so much. There's no way to counter those daggers. Oh, 
Oh my god. No! Oh, for God's sake. There is no way to counter that, and it's really pissing me off. I do not have a shield spell, no. Uh, this is literally all of my magic. Sixth Sense, which is not a spell that I can use in combat, and it wouldn't be useful in combat anyway. Magic Dart, which just does a bit of damage in combat. P Aura which um, only protects me against melee attacks, I'm pretty sure. Channel, which just restores a bit of magic. Blink, which is a teleportation spell that I can't use in combat. And Arctic Winds, which I can't use in combat. I wish I had an actual shield. Okay, we just need to go north from here. Hopefully we won't run into any enemies. Here we go. Twin statues crafted from an unknown material flank the main pathway up to the light. They appear to be some kind of crossbreed between a lizard, horse, and bird. A cluster of purple crystals stands near the bottom of the winding pathway. The placement appears intentional rather than organic. You wonder what their purpose is. Uh, what if it's a trap? Uh. Okay. Okay. As you cross the winding staircase, you find yourself near the bottom of the cave again. You get the feeling that you're doing something wrong here. Ah, a puzzle, a puzzle. Oh, I, I think I see. So... That one and that one. And that one and that one. And that one. And that one. Wait. So it's this one, to that one, to that one, to that one, to that one. You turn away from the crystals. You think you should be able to use them to open your passage somehow, if you could figure out the right sequence. Okay, I'm getting tired, apparently. Not having a place to sleep sucks. Oh, I mean, I could sleep at the entrance, but yeah, I'd need to have a source of food. You get more than a little confused as the pathway up somehow leads back to where you started. You have the impression that you're missing something. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, you consider that you should probably touch each crystal once, but what would be the proper order? Hmm. Maybe there's a path off to the side that leads somewhere. Maybe I can get a hint. Oh god, a wizard. An elf wizard. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see what's down here. Nothing. Well, looks like I just need to figure out the crystals on their own. Crystals is ding, 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 ding. There it is. I had to do it the other way. You feel as if a disorientation has cleared from your mind. The passenger head lies open. Hell yeah. One bid you welcome to Need Avalir, proud capital of Swatalheim. One wonders what brings a mortal human across the nine worlds to one's place here. It's the ugly elf, the one who took my titties. Who are you, O Swartalf? One wishes it to be known that this Swartalf bears the name of Fafnir the Glorious. One likes to view this Swartalf as a regal and a leading figure among the denizens of Swartalfheim. I am most impressed by Nidavalir. One knows that this city bears the name of Nidavalir. One believes that Fafnir the Glorious is the destined ruler of this city. Please tell me about Svartalfheim. One thinks that if one should wish to familiarize oneself with this splendid realm, one should 
the person. <laughs> One is ugly as fuck. <laughs> Have you been to Midgard? One has little interest in such lands as that. In all the nine worlds, one must find more interesting places to travel to. Your brother sent me to you. Indeed. One wonders what one's prodigal brother is up to. One recalls said brother fleeing from Nidavalir, leaving quite a mess behind. In truth, he sent me here to kill you in revenge for killing his father. One is shocked to hear that! One wonders, however, if one's brother has offered any evidence of this wild accusation. Can one shut the fuck up? <laughs> I know, right? Reagan did not show any evidence. It is as one thought. Perhaps one's brother is now hiding among humans. His true shape unknown to human eye. One wonders whether you have any reason to trust one's brother. One offers you a deal. Slay one's wayward brother, and one shall generously reward you. One is known to be richest among Swapapa. About to fight Old Iron King in Dark Souls 2? Oh, good luck! Have you seen a human child? One believes that one speaks of a male human of young age, is it not? One has witnessed dialogue between one's fellow citizen Skrymir and the troll known as Thribaldi. One may find the child in Skrymir's care at the east of one's village. I don't want to kill Regan. I will not kill him for you. One regrets to hear that, but one cannot blame you for staying out of one's personal fights. One bids you farewell. Alright, where am I? Uh... Oh, I'm up on the ceiling, holy moly. On the floor or ceiling, two meticulously carved stairways lead down, or up, out of Nidavalir and into the vast realm of Svartalfheim. Ah, I see. One believes that certain of the nine worlds are illuminated by a sun. For the lack of this, we Swatafar have constructed this disc. One can see its lights all throughout the caverns here. Okay. And there I come out at the bottom. <laughs> Sparkling water shoots from the fountain, then seemingly turns into snowflakes as it slowly drifts down into the pool. You have never seen a fountain as elegant and ornate as this. For the person who made this game must have never been with a woman because touching wo women's boobs in this game feels weird. <laughs> it's only a joke, Berserker. <laughs> and it's not even the game that made the joke, it was us. <laughs> Nobody to talk to. You can't seem to recall the lyrics to Stairway to Heaven right now, but you think they would have been fitting. The staircase near the city centre is dizzying to look at, although all four parts of it lead upward. upwards, somehow its top ends end up connected to its bottom. You're not sure how this is possible. Oh, right, it's a never-ending staircase. Huh. Okay, um... Let's see if we can go here. Ooh, what's this place? Well, actually, I'm gonna save. Actually, I'm gonna delete that. And I'm gonna call this... Svartelf save. I'm busy, so keep this brief. What is it? Oh, you're a chunker! What is your name? I am Advari, the craftsman. 
Some have called me the great or outstanding or other such superlatives, but I care not for their praise. True art is made for the sake of it. You have a chunky face. Uh, oh, I thought that it was part of the game. Sorry, <laughs> it's okay. No worries. What can you tell me of Nita Valir? What am I, a tour guide? Look around you, for you are standing in it. Open your eyes and focus, human. How rude. What do you know of Fafnir? Yes, one of the other Svart Alpha. What of him? He is always collecting gems and gold and such, but lacks the skill to craft anything practical out of them. Have you been to a circle of runic stones? Ah, yes. An elegant piece of work, is it not? It is older than I am and connects eight of the nine worlds. And it is picky, sending people to the world where they belong, so they do not show up in the wrong place for no reason. I hope for your sake that you have a good reason to travel here. But save your stories for someone else, human, for I am busy. Did you see the chasm south of here? Uh, I have plans for a bridge somewhere in my workshop. I'm sure I shall get around to building it one of these years. <laughs> Until then, its far side will have to be a mystery for you. For I do not believe any human would be able to magically transport himself across. <laughs> You'd be surprised. You would be very surprised. Please tell me about Svartalfine. It is our realm. Like it or not, it shall remain as it is. Do you have aught better to do than to ask about the very obvious? Have you been to Midgard? Yes, yes, the human realm. Sloppy and disorganized. Lacking in art and craft. It has no appeal to me. And the sunshine is bad enough to turn a swat off to stone. Alvis and Atri are always looking for human trinkets. So poor in taste, are they? And then Alvis disappeared, which shows you why you should stay out of human affairs. Have you seen a human child? Now, why would I care about a human child? Surely humans can look after their own children? <laughs> I think some troll took the child here and went to talk to Skrymir in the side cavern. Why not go and look there already? You would think that if you had been more responsible, your child would not be hanging around with the likes of trolls. But that's humans for you. This one has pretty good voice acting. Do you have weapons for sale? For sale? For sale, human! Do not insult me! Art is not made for gold or silver, not for pearls or diamonds. It is because items ask, no, demand to be crafted. Uh, I would not expect a human to understand that. Fuh. Okay. Perpetuum Mobile, I do not expect you to understand, but keep your hands off! <laughs> a heavy crate stands in the corner of the room, probably containing whatever components Andvari needs for his many devices. Every smithy needs a bucket of cold water to temper the steel. In this case, an elaborate pool and waterfall have been constructed for that purpose. Nothing but a big fire to ward off the winter cold. Okay. Ooh, hey, impossible geometry. A wizard called Escher requisitioned that. He should be picking it up soon, depending upon which dimensions he is in. Beat Iron King in first try. Not too difficult, boss, though. Awesome work, Sparrow. I am proud of you. A sturdy wooden closet stands or hangs on the ceiling or from the floor. It is one of the few things in the room not crafted out of metal. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Somehow you are unable to grasp the handle of the closet. It looks real enough from further away, but as you move closer, it appears to be painted on. <laughs> oh man, the... Cl <laughs> painted on. You examine the strange device more closely. You wonder what it does. Oh dear, a, a poozle. Okay, uh... Ooh, 
okay. So, what do I need to do exactly? Can I reset it? Uh... What the hell? What do I need to do? Wait. Do I need to link it up so these link to each other or something? I have no idea what any of this does. If only I had a frame of reference. I don't know enough about this to know what to do. So let's leave this shop. Alright. Let's check out this building. Hey, you. How common is it for a human to travel to these realms? Welcome is the human to our village. Thank God, a friendly elf, and not a moment too soon. Who are you, O oh Spart Elf? Happy am I to tell you my name is Atri. Proud purveyor and trader am I of trinkets, gizmos, and ronkles from all of the nine worlds. Ronkles! Unmatched is my collection in all of Swatelfheim. I am most impressed by Nidavalir. Ancient is the city of Aswatafar, crafted as need of Lear of magic and metal, artistry and alloy in the very heart of Swatafheim. Welcoming is it to creatures of all the worlds, from troll to human, and from Sisirf to Aesir. What do you know of Fafnir? Persistent is Fafnir in collecting things, just as I am. Baffled am I as to his choice of item. Bland and tedious are his gemstones and trinkets, lacking are they in stories behind them, unlike the items collected by me. Enamored is he of a gemstone cavern he has found somewhere in Svartalfheim. Frequently is he found there. Hmm. Have you seen Alvis? Missing is Alvis for a long time. Curious am I of what has become of him. Eager could he be to traverse other lands. Imprisoned might he be by an outside force. Eager am I of any news of him. Are there any female Svartalfar? Crafty are all Svartalfar, using their arts of illusion to appear as they wish. Male may appear as a female and versa the vice. Your business this is not. Flaunting are the humans about their gender, but private is this to us from Svartalfheim. Hmm. Have you been to a circle of runic stones? Known is it to me that the gate allows access to the Nine Worlds. Infrequent is it that we receive travelers from the other eight. Delighted am I by the wares that they have brought, which I display in my house. Hopeful am I that when the Fumble Winter has ended, brave enough I shall be to travel by myself. <sighs> Sorry I'm not saying much at the moment, it's just, uh, I, I have a lot of dialogue to get through. Tell me about Anvari. Master is Anvari at the crafts of Forge and Technology. Unmatched are his designs, ever keen his edge, impenetrable his armor. Crafted are they of the scales of dragons. Certain am I that a challenge would Envari find it to craft a dragon scale armor for you. 
unstoppable would you be wearing his craft? Ooh, <laughs> that sounds good. Have you seen a cave full of gems? Pretty are the veins of gemstones, common as rock they are to most Svartalf. Rare is it that I go there, different are the items that please my eye. Are the cave mushrooms edible? Attracted are the mushrooms to the stream underground. Colorful are they, as well as tasty. Edible are the red mushrooms, but only to Svartalfar. Poisonous are they to humans, as far as I know. Okay. Have you been to Midgard? Good thing I didn't try Legendary eating them. to us is Midgard, realm of the humans. Many other stories I have heard, and wishful am I to pay it a visit. Dangerous is it now to travel to other realms. Hopeful I am to travel when the danger passes, and certain is it that there are many wonders to see there. Interested am I to know that there are shapeshifters in Midgard, known to me as the Swan Maiden, a kind of swan that transforms into a human maiden. Careful must she be in human form, for trapped in this form will she become if a human suitor would steal her wings. Well, that would be rude. That would just be plain rude. Have you seen Jaime? Ignorant am I of what a Jaime is. Sincere are my apologies. I am looking for a human child. Curious am I why you did not say so. Certain am I that a troll brought a human child into our village. Suggestive am I that you should search the passage in the northeast corner. Do you know why Regan left? Remembering am I that he had a fight with his brother Fafnir and then left. Rumored is it that he has moved to Midgard. Okay. Tell me what you have for trade. Intrigued am I ever by trade. Delighted you will be by what offer I have for you. Arcane is your nature and curious you must be after knowledge. Powerful is the spell on a scroll I have for trade. Effective is it to counter magical barriers and protections. Willing you are to trade, as I hope. Generous you shall be to offer me something in return. Okay. Mighty is this warrior against the creatures of the mythical forest. Powerful is this weapon against any tree that stands in his way. Oh, it's a saw! I could probably use that to cut the tree in the swamp back in Midgard. Legendary is this device that is used to store time itself. Unsure am I at how it works. Adjacent is the manual stored in a bottle to keep it safe. Huh. Must be the sands of time. <laughs> Imported from Thelen is this fine example of a crystal ball. Informed am I that the sorcerer who created them has been overthrown. Rare, therefore, is this item becoming. Long are the stories I could tell you about these items. Pleasant is it to share them over tea when you take a break of being a hero. Collecting am I these flower vases from all over the Nine Worlds. Pungent are these orange flowers, and expensive were they to me, but worthwhile. Flowers? Those look like carrots. Inside the house, you find the most baffling and mismatched collection of trinkets, doodads, and souvenirs you've ever encountered. The Svartalf living here seems like a collector who doesn't really know what he's collecting. Dangerous is the gaze of a wild scoffin, but cute is my little pet here. Well is it that I've trained him, so rare is it that he turns anyone to stone these days. Secret is the content of this chest. Dangerous is the item to show to other people, so hidden it is for now. Made is this mirror by leprechauns, and crafty is its power to foretell the future. Unsure am I how to interpret these futures. Okay. Let's see if I have anything that she would find valuable. More comfortable is it down here for trading. Usable is the ladder for you. Haha, <laughs> flip. Unsure am I why you are offering me this, but fitting for my collection, is it not? Uh, hmm. What about the crystal? Unsure am I. No. What about the lodestone? Unsure. No? Well, I didn't want to lose that, so. How about a mirror? Already am I possessing one of those? Attached it is to my wall here. Okay, maybe not. 
Perhaps a mushroom. Unsure, my. Okay. Oh, am I gonna die when I interact with this thing? Oh. Scoffin. Forbidden is it to turn people into stone again. Empty is your food plate for tonight. Do I get turned back? No. Thank you for giving Aitree another amusing anecdote and a set piece to match. <laughs> oh dear. I want to see what I look like in the mirror because I noticed there was a reflection when I was going past. Here we go. That's weird. Made is this mirror by la- <laughs> It looks a bit like a uh, Cracker or whatever her name is. You try to explain to the flowers how they would fit better in a bottle and how the message would fit better on a writing desk, but nobody listens to your complaints. Alright then. Uh... In the alcove stands a very lifelike statue, as if it oh pardon me, as if it was a living winged winged creature magically turned to stone. Come to think of it, it's probably exactly that. In a in a corner of the room, a runic banner hangs suspended from the ceiling. You are unable to make out what it says, but you note the runes glow softly from some magic in the weaving. Hmm. Alright, I don't think there's anything I can do here at the moment. Oh, hang on, what did she say that she had for sale? She said something useful. Uncommon, is it? Tell me, intrigued am I? Arcane is your nature. Willing you are to trade, as I hope. Ah, oh, the scroll, Unc that's right. What items do you seek? Thinking am I about what curiosities you could have? Okay. Fascinating oh. is this tool. Intrigued am I to examine it? Wait, what? Oh, no way! The cursor! Next to or above the bed, you see a wooden closet filled with brightly colored books. You can't make out any of the titles, uh, though. Hey! What the? <laughs> Upon closer inspection, these aren't books, but merely the covers of books. Either real books are in short supply here, or some, or somebody has missed the point of bedroom reading. You pinch yourself in the arm to check if you're still awake, and are reassured by the results. Stop that! Interested am I in trading for this artifact? Curious am I after your price? No, you cannot have that. I need it for my travels. Disappointed am I to hear that. Reluctant am I to return such a fabulous object. Cogitating am I on what else you could find to trade with me. What items do you seek? Thinking am I what you could obtain from me. Lacking am I in human artifacts and paraphernalia. Happy would I be to receive human apparatus or utensils. Missing is our fellow swat elf, Albus. Valuable to me would be word from him. Interested am I in objects of mystical power. Similar are these to what Andavari used to craft the Feta Gleipnir. Curious am I if you could bring me a bear's sinew, or the root of a mountain, or a cat's footfall. Okay. I wish you good health. Sad am I to see you go. Eager am I waiting for your return. Time to explore the city some more. Alright, uh... Let's check this place. Oh, 
Okay, I'm on the side of the room. You have the feeling that you're trespassing and that the owner of the house would not be pleased. What's this? Oh, it's a trap. I knew it. God damn it. Human captured. Long time for jail. Hello, hero lady. I am sorry that you are also caught. Dag nabbit. Since the cage prevents you from using magic, you will never get out before the world ends. Oh. Good thing I saved. Alright, can I check out this building? No. Alright. Alright. Am I uh, am I able to get through this room without uh, activating the trap? You grab the potion from the alchemical apparatus and take a sip from its contents. Whoa! Oh, haha! <laughs> I've, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm like 8-bit now or whatever. These weapons are much too heavy for you to wield properly, as if they were crafted of solid lead. You surmise that the Svartalfar are much stronger than they look. You must be quite a dummy to think you can talk to a dummy like that. This appears to be a sparring dummy. Judging by the state it's in, it's seen quite a lot of use. I wonder what's... Ah, oh. oddly there is no apparent way to open this door. There is no handle and the door has, doesn't yield to your push. You probably need some kind of Svartalf magic to open it. Okay. I'm not sure if you can sit sideways like that. You're getting nauseous enough already just standing here. Okay. Oh, wait. Infinite oofs! Oh my god, so good to see you! How are you doing? Alright, uh, maybe I can interact with this. The carved statue of a gargoyle is the only decoration in this room that doesn't serve a useful function. It holds up the light, but that purpose could also have been served by a simple chain. Can I magic it? Well, that went in the completely opposite direction. I just want to... Magic it. There we go. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Okay, um, I wonder if I can rest here. Okay. I'm sure that the trading lady would not have a problem with me resting there. Well, buddy, I got to go. Sorry if I keep leaving around this time. I have a daily schedule, even though that most of us are still quarantined from the coronavirus. That is fine, Berserker. You do not need to apologize for an for anything. Everybody has um, different availabilities for watching streams and stuff. Um, so I completely understand. Um, have, have a good day, Berserker. Uh, stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. Hey, Shay, how you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, I can sleep on this bed. You manage to climb onto or under the bed and try to get some sleep, even though the bed is kind of small for you. Kinda, I'm still working. Oh, okay. Well, um... How, how much longer do you have to work? You sleep deeply, untroubled for a while by the weirdness of this place. Okay, cool, I have a place to sleep. Now, if only I had a source of food. Alright, um, let's save again, and go into that cave, an hour, and then I'm gonna get some food. Okay, that's not too bad. Have you, do you know what you're gonna eat? 
you see a powerfully built Svartalf clad entirely in heavy metal armor and wielding a wicked morning star. His appearance is stern and alert. Um, I want to magic him. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself killed. Intruder spotted. Battle for you. Wow, the hero ladies come to save me. Probably Mackies? Oh, that sounds good. Big Mac? Ow. Oof. Oh. oh, wow. This lad is tough. Let's try that again. Hell yeah, Big Mac. Fuck yeah. Tasty burger. Intruder spotted. Battle for you. Wow, the hero ladies come to save me. Uh. He keeps getting me with that spell. Ow. Oh god damn it. No 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 no. Oh damn it. I tried to use the fire spell to counter it. Maybe there's something special I can do here. Oh, the crystal, huh? So, can I magic dart the crystal to fall on his head or something? Intruder spotted. Oh, what? Battle for you. Wow. The oh, maybe I need to cast Antarctic Wind or something. Oh, bugger. Oh, come on! Oh my god. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, the fire spell. My fire spell, it does nothing! Alright, let's try Antarctic Wind, Arctic Wind and see if it blows the crystal down. Hopefully it does. Oh, and there was apparently an, an elf or something who could make me armor or something? I'm not sure. No? Okay. You see an energetic young boy dressed in a smaller version of a soldier's uniform, his face resembling a more outspoken version of Herva's. Please, let me out of here! Intruder spotted. Battle for you. Wow. Here we go again. Nah. Ah! 
God damn it, that spell is so fast! Ah! Oh, God damn it! Oh my God, he's so fast! This is exactly like Dark Souls, I swear to God. Okay, maybe I can have a- maybe I have a new topic with this guy. Oh, Fafnir's here. I'm busy, so keep this brief. What is it? I challenge there you to craft is. armor for me. You call that a challenge? You merely want a piece of armor. Any troll could make you that. Fah. But I need not just any armor. I seek the strongest armor in the Nine Worlds, for I live the dangerous life of a heroine. Oh, you are one of those suicidal people they call heroes, no? Short-lived as you humans are, I can see how you would not care about old age. But hero me this, human, for I have a challenge for you. My workshop has not been clean for a decade or two. I'm too busy to work on this, but you can do it for me. A challenge for a challenge is fair play. Then we shall talk. Do not disturb me sooner. Okay. Ooh, um, yes, you're a little bit late, Shay, but that is completely fine. It's not like I have a schedule or anything, so there's no way for you to know when I'm streaming. One sees a human enter one's presence. One wonders what the human wishes to speak about. I be what? All right. Um, given the amount of junk scattered around the room, it would take forever to clean that up by hand. You ha you'd have to find a better way. You don't want to disturb the mechanism, and even if you did, you have no idea how you would accomplish that. Um, maybe Arctic Wind? You believe this can work, but you need some more practice getting the wind to do what you want. Okay. So I just need the spell to be better. Oh! It's good enough! What in the seething bits of surter do you think you're doing? I am cleaning your workshop. See? All the mess is gone now. How dare you, you little human! You merely scoured my workshop with wind! You call that hard work? You call that perseverance? I call trickery on you! Shenanigans! The feces of a male bovine! I am done talking to you! Oh, what? With an angry snap of his fingers, Andvari transforms into a fish and disappears into the water. Oh, no, but now what am I supposed to do about the armor? Any One help, Fafnir? Sees a human and no? I... Uh... Wait a minute. Can I grab him with the fishing net? It's hardly sporting to catch the pool in a fishing net. Ah. Oh. The, the water is cool and refreshing to your, to your touch. You think that the constant stream prevents the water from getting too hot in this place. Okay, maybe the, late, maybe the elf who told me about this guy will listen to me uh, and tell me what to do next. I'm not sure how else I would have cleaned up the workshop other than using that spell. Uncommon, is it? No? Okay. I Eager. Uh, maybe... Oh, I can't use the fishing net on the river? Okay. Oh, I just noticed the river goes in a loop. It goes around here, under the bridges, under the bridges, under the bridge, and then up the wall, and then down again. Ha! Uh, okay, um... Ooh, I'm not sure what to do now. And I still haven't found anywhere to get food here. So I'm not sure how I'm supposed to survive. Uh, 
Um, two hundred IQ fountain. <laughs> uh, hmm. Alright, um, I want to try eating the mushroom, even though it's poisonous to humans. Om nom nom. But I thought it was supposed to be poisonous to humans. Hmm. What are you doing, Fafnir? Where are you going? And you, lady, where are you going? Wait, where is she going? He, whatever. Hmm. The door is locked, uh-huh. Maybe the dude will come back later. Uh, let's try going back up. When was the last time you used P Aura? Um, I used it during the fight. I tried to use it during the fight with the uh, with the elf guy who's guarding Jaime, but it didn't do anything. You believe the tunnel to the west looks different than the last time you came here, as if it leads in a different direction now. Hang on, let's see what this one has to say. Uncommon is nothing new. I okay, let's go this way then. Uh. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Can I? I. Uh, 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 no, 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 Rosanthia, no. Go back. I want you to go out the other exit. Or do I have to deactivate the crystals to get it to the other side? Oh no, there you go. Okay. So apparently something's different about the caves on this side now. Well, that's not different. This isn't different. And this is not different either. Nor is this. The game lied to me. Those bastards lied to me. You softly prod the starfish, but it does not respond. It feels dry and spongy and a bit tingly to the touch. Uh Oh, I wonder if I could uh use the fishing net in the in the river. It's worth a tr it's worth a shot because if I can find a source of food here, then I'll be able to take the time Oh, hang on. What about here? Because if I can find a consistent source of food... Then I'll be able to afford to, uh... To grind out some fights in the caves. Get tougher and, uh... And, uh, get money. And hopefully something to trade with.
troll in the dungeon. I don't want to fight right now. Alright, I want to go to the river with, with the mushrooms. You like the sound of the water, Shay? Awesome. I hope it doesn't make you need to pee. Uh, Black Sparrow, uh, you gotta go? Oh, okay, um, catch you next time. I hope this stream has been fun for you. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, uh... Oh, a fish! Holy shit! Oh, I wonder if that's what's-his-face. Is he travelling through the whole place? In the water? You tie the net in place, wondering if this is really such a good place for fishing. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So maybe if I leave the room and then come back? Troll in the dungeon. Oh, fish. Kill the troll. Oh, maybe if I see another one. Ha, it is him! Ha ha! You blasted human! Can a smart elf not even swim in peace without being bothered by your kind? Short lit as a gnat? Buzz, 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 you go in my ear. Buzz, I tell you! Come on, mate, I just want some armor. You know what? I shall make you your armor, hell take you. I shall craft an armor the likes you shall never see again, just to shut you up. And you had better appreciate it, and appreciate it good. Okay, sounds good, buddy. You get to work. Now, I am sure a smart-ass human like you has bothered to find a dragon scale as material for this armor. No, I do not have one. Unacceptable! Simply unacceptable! You mess up my workshop and chase me halfway across Smart Alfine, and you did not even prepare yourself? Go and fight a dragon somewhere, or a lindworm, or anything with big scales! Either get yourself a scale, or get yourself killed! Either is fine with me! Okay, I need a scale. Well, this is gonna be a bitch. Uh... Let's save. Uh. Uh. No, 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 no. No, 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 wrong menu, wrong menu. Okay. Maybe we can stab the dragonfly? No. Alright. Maybe there's an enemy somewhere that'll drop a scale. He sounds like a douchebag. He kind of is. Well, actually, no, I should grab another mushroom. Uh, Arctic wind? No? Okay. Maybe I can magic dart it? Oh, damn, I missed. Hmm. I guess I'll go down to there and maybe see if I can catch a fish or something like that. I don't know.
Will you be streaming today, Shay? The water is clear and you see nothing swimming underneath. You don't think this is a good place for fishing. Oh, okay then. Don't think so? Kinda tired of work? Ah, uh, fair enough. The lake is scalding hot. This is certainly not a pleasant environment for swimming. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I get, um... I get being tired from work. <laughs> That's understandable. Uh... Where the hell am I gonna get a scale? Did you have to work? Not today, no. Hang on a minute. Cross be between a lizard, horse, and bird. The creature is smooth to the touch, as if erosion carved it out of a single block of marble. Somehow it feels warmer than it should. Okay, well I'm not getting a scale out of one of those. Oh, hang on, maybe you know where I can get a one. Human. Enter one. No. I... Okay. Oh, well I don't work most days, so um... This wasn't out of the ordinary for me. Normally I'd be working tomorrow. But, um, I'm taking the day off tomorrow because it's my dad's birthday. Am I ever arcane is your nature and willing you are to trade as I hope? Uh hmm. Can I go down? No. You believe the pillar to be purely ornamental in nature, but you can never be sure if it's required to keep the floor up or perhaps the ceiling down. You fail to make your way up. 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 My climbing skill is not that great, as you can see. But I am getting XP. Happy birthday to your dad in advance. Ah, I'm sure he'll appreciate that a lot. <laughs> it's a really long slippery shaft but I'm getting XP I'm getting some stats up so it's not a it's not a waste of effort it's absolutely not a waste you are so exhausted that it hurts to move you best get some rest soon oh my stamina is gone okay I am going to go rest Sleep until dawn. Okay. Uh, let's try again. I want to see how much I can get my stats up. Fail to make way up. I'm so hungry I'm tripping, I think. <laughs> what, you mean like you're starting to feel high because you're so hungry? <laughs> oh, Shay, you need to eat. Oh, but you still have a bit of time left that you need to work through, don't you? Oh. Okay, I don't think I can uh, get my stats up there anymore.
I wonder if this guy can... Ooh, he's up well, there. Well, the dragon scale. Do you have it? No, not yet. Then what are you waiting around here for? Go and fight some worm. Worm or worm. Shoo, shoo already. Ah. Oh. Where am I supposed to find that, bruh? Alright, let's save. Oh, actually, no, not that way. Go this way. Maybe this tunnel will have something in it now. What did I have for dinner today? I had... I had some salmon and a hash brown and some potato gems and some baked beans. Oh, salmon is really nice. Oh yeah. Oh, what the hell, let's fight the elf. There we go. Whoop. Dodge. There we go. Bonk. Bonk. Ow. I hate that he can use that against me. That's my spell. Oh god, the knives. Oh no, 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 no. Ooh, close one. Bonk. There we go. Let's search him. The Svartalf isn't carrying much, but in one of the pockets of his robe you find some edible roots. Hell yeah! Food! I now have two roots. Excellent! Now, I'm not going to try searching these tunnels anymore until I've rested because my health is low. GGWP, thank you very much! The encouragement is so nice. Um, actually, let's have another look in here. Maybe there's a scale in here. Uh-huh. What about these shield things? On the rear wall or floor hang or stand a number of elegant shields. Even though they're lavishly decorated with heraldic symbols, you see these are still very strong, sturdy, and practical. You're not sure how to get the shields off the wall or floor, and they are certainly too big to fit with your flashy heroine fighting style. Right. I don't think... There is anything useful for me here, unfortunately. Alright. Let's head back out, go rest. Now that I know that there's a way to get food here, from those naughty elves, There we go. There we go, I'm fully healed. And I'm ready to explore. Alright, and I'll be exploring those tunnels again. Ooh, but first I'll save. There we go. And who knows, maybe by the time I find a scale to make that armor with, I'll already be tough enough to beat that guy. Because that guy is so annoying. Oh, is, is the smell- do you recognize the smell? Can you tell what they're cooking? Dwarf. 
Let's beat him up. Let's beat up this little man. to try hitting him with the fire spell. Oh. Oh. I have not seen that attack before. There we go. Searching the greedy dwarf's possessions, you find seven coins, which you quickly take with you. Oh, hell yeah. I now have eleven money. Awesome. Okay, there really is nothing new in these caves, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. rest here? Yes. I'll rest for another hour. And I'll rest for one more hour. There we go. And then I will eat some roots. There we go. And I suppose I'll search the other tunnels of Spartalheim. Did I miss anything? The stream stopped for a minute. Um, no, I don't think you did miss anything. Thankfully. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, I apologize if the stream stopped for a minute. I didn't realize. Um... But before, I did ask if you recognize the smell. Can you tell what they're cooking? Ah, oh, okay, it was your internet. Fair enough. No clue? <laughs> That's understandable. All right, where do I want to search? Um, let's search. Hey, wait a minute. I just had an idea. Okay, I'll go as far to the right, uh, the, 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 the right as I can. Am I good at cooking? No, I am not. <laughs> I suck at cooking. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit better than I used to be. Like, a couple, a few years ago, I ruined a frying pan when I was trying to fry an egg. The frying pan had to be thrown in the bin. Um, but since then, I'm able, I've become able to cook some things with help. Like, I'm able to make spaghetti as long as I have help. For example. But no, short answer, I am terrible at cooking. Oh my god, I can't dodge that. Ow. 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 Oh, God.
Ugh, bloody dwarves. Searching the greedy dwarf's possessions, you find four coins, which you quickly take with you. Well, at least I have more money now. Yes, improvement is always good. Okay, I had an idea. What if I blink over there? Quickly, you grab the potion before the te chest snaps shut onto your unprotected hand. Hell yeah! Alright, what is this potion? Power potion. This potion glows and swells with a potent energy. When drank, it will increase your offensive abilities in combat for a short time. It weighs one Merka. Okay. Maybe that can help me win the fight against the elf guy. Oh shit, no! Oh god damn it. Ah! Oh. I got myself into a fight. Oh no! Oh. That is disappointing. Now I have to go back there again. The money was not worth it. The money that I got from that dwarf was not worth it. This part was a lot scarier before I got to the city. Because before I got to the city... Um... I mean, I, I just, I felt like, I felt so alone. It was awful. But now that the city's there, I know that I can rest there, and I know that it's safe there. My only problem is that, so far, the only way I know of to get food here is, um, by looting the bodies of, um, of the wizard elves. Because, as far as I know, the only way to get food here is to uh, beat an elf and then search its body and find some roots. And the problem with that is the elves are hard to beat because they have some really annoying spells. Curry? Oh, curry is good. It's been a while since the last time I had a curry. I could use a curry. Oh man, I'm really feeling hungry now. Okay, first I'll rest. Then I'll save. And then I'll try fighting the guy with the power of the potion. I wish I could have curry right now too. <laughs> Intruder spotted. Battle for you. All right, let's see if wow. I can beat this guy the with the help of the potion. To save me. I'm just gonna knock on their door. <laughs> Wait for me. Oh, I'm doing a lot more damage with the potion. Oh. Oh god, no! Oh no! Oh, I need to dodge down! I need to dodge down when he does that! Okay, I think I can do this.
Intruder spotted. Battle for you. I got this, yeah! The hero ladies come to I save I got me. this! Alright, let's do this, baby! Dark Souls time. Oh, ow. Oh, no, 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 no. Dodge down. Oh, no. No. Oh, damn it. I got so close. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can make it. I just gotta stop being a complete dumbass. Intruder spotted. Battle for you. Wow, the hero ladies come to save me. Whenever someone says something like nice try, I always hear it in the Wii Sports voice. Nice try! Oh, dag nabbit. Oh, god damn it. There he goes. I did it! Defeat to me. Possible rescue for prisoner. Failing duty. Sad day. That was great! I want to learn to fight as you do! Haha, <laughs> fuck off, elf man. Okay, uh... Jaime waves at you happily. You get the impression that if he were a few years older, he would insist on doing all your adventures in your place. Please! Let me out of here! Okay... Can I climb up? Yes! Haha! <laughs> Thank you very much, Shay! Thank you! You came to save me! That was amazing! Meanwhile... I do not like this waiting! Uh, the humans are slow to respond! I do not understand! We have the small man! Now they must give us the eye! Yes, humans are stupid not to understand that. Tonight we shall ask them again! And we must still deal with the big man. He did not have the eye. It must be in his city. We shall crush the city. It is too strong even for us. But we shall get more trolls and giants to stomp the humans. And I shall be known as the mighty troll leader. Oh, yes. Both of us shall be known, you stupid head. That's what I said. Shut up. And what of the hero woman? I want to meet her again! We shall stomp her and eat her flesh! The master shall be pleased! <laughs> How are we going to get home now, hero lady? Well, my dear young man, if you'll stop asking questions, I'll show you. Follow me. I will get us out of here. Okay. I wonder if I can come back later, because I want the armor. <laughs> Sassy Kurt. Hell yeah. Uh oh. I do not like the looks of this weather. Alright. Let's get out of here. 
Oh, shit. Within moments, the blizzard is upon you. Cold snow flies at you from all sides, taking but an instant to freeze you to the bone. All around you is white, so much that you can barely make out your own legs anymore, and the thick mass of snow dampens all sounds. You realize that you are utterly lost in the forest. Can I flame aura him? No. Third eye. Or whatever it's called. You concentrate deeply on your spell until nothing in the world exists for you but the snow and the flow of magic in your veins. Slowly, agonizingly, you trace your path back to Fonsig Tuna with Jaime si sl silently in tow. I mean, it would have been better to go to, uh... Munava gear, because it's a lot closer. <laughs> Chapter 3 Achievement Unlocked Adept Sorceress. Welcome back. I found you outside in the snow again. And you have returned our son. Words cannot express how grateful we are. Yes! She found me in a cage in the Upside Down City, and then she got rid of the evil sword out, and then we escaped. And then we got caught in a snowstorm. But after Charles and Sword Out Far, the snow is not so scary anymore. Thank you, heroine. If you ever thought that you were in our debt, be sure that we are in yours now. As you said to me, do not mention it. At least, let me share food with you. We have honey left from last autumn. May you enjoy it. It is very sweet. Even the bears and wolves want it. Thank you. I believe that the troll kidnapper intended to swap Jaime for a possession of yours? Yes, I was afraid of that. Seek out Grimhild the Valkyrie in <laughs> She knows more of the life than we yeah. do. Indeed. I have guarded the gem for a long time, but I do not know what that vile troll wants with it. But he will not have it since I am safe now, thanks to the hero lady. And thank you for finding my sword for me. I will need to train more so I can be a real fighter. Do not forget the path to Swartalpine is open to you. You may find allies or advice there. I will remember. And I will find Brynhild to figure out what Thravagi wants with the eyes. Safe travels. And no, you are always welcome here. Oh, yes. I am truly the greatest. Um, I am going... Oh, it's, it, it's already daytime. Okay, in that case, I will just eat some roots. There we go. And then I will save. I can get rid of this now. Save over that. And now I can continue my adventure. Yes, all that food. I have two rations, three meat, some honey, some apples. Oh, an apple and a mushroom. Oh, I have an empty vial now. Cool. Wait, I have two empty vials? Wait. No, I don't. Okay. The, the inventory reorganized a little bit. All right. Um, yes, this is on Steam and it's actually free, believe it or not. It's free on Steam. Alright, let's continue our adventure. Well, I probably won't stream for much longer, but, um... But yeah, let's continue for a little while. Alright, let's see the map. Okay, so that thing is apparently something I need to do now. Uh... What will I do now, though? Um... Oh, shit, what did I want to do here now? Heh, <laughs> I've forgotten. Um... Oh, that's right, I wanted to go to that castle thing over there. Okay. Yeah, because um, I can teleport now. Alright, let's go. Um... No, there are some NPCs who will ask you to do things, but there's, like, no quest log or anything like that. Um, 
Mostly it's just the main quest, but there are a lot of, like, side things that you can optionally do because there's, like, multiple solutions for the puzzles. Because at the start of the game, you choose whether you want to be a warrior, a rogue, or a mage. And depending on which one you pick, the ways that you can solve puzzles will change. So because I'm a mage, um, I have... Uh, well, I, I'm, 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 I'm better with magic, so I can use, like, magic... I can use, like, spells to solve puzzles. Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh my god! Fucking hell! It's a yacht! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> oh no! Well, at least this isn't Skyrim, or, or I would have been launched into the stratosphere. <laughs> uh, well, apparently Thrivaldi has gathered giants um, to join the uh, effort against the humans in an effort to get the eye, whatever the eye is. Alright, here's a bandit. This should be an easy fight. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Flawless victory. And he had nothing on him. Um, but yeah, um, depending on what class you pick at the start of the game, it changes the so, uh, like it, it it changes a little bit the ways that you can solve puzzles, but also. There are just puzzles that have multiple solutions, so it just depends on what items you've managed to get. Like, for one example, is there was a gemstone in a frozen uh, river, and in order to get it out, um, I used my ice pick. But I had to wait until uh, midday, because in the morning and at night, the ice is too cold and hard for the ice pick to break through. But if I had used the flame aura spell enough, then I could have cast it um, when I was standing on the ice in order to melt it enough to grab the gemstone. My flame aura spell wasn't good enough to melt the ice, so I waited until midday and then I used the ice pick to break through, and I got the gemstone. Ah, uh, thank you, Big Ben Clock. Yeah, that's one of the things that I love about this game. Another example... Oh, here she is, the naked lady. And there's someone here. Um, another example of the multiple solutions is um, getting into the Thieves' Lodge. Um, when you sneak into the Thieves' Lodge for the first time, they, they wrap you up with some ropes. And I don't know what the other solutions are, but one solution is to use the Flame Aura spell to burn the ropes off yourself. Okay. Let's save. And then let's speak to this guy. The Jarl does not respond to your words, as if he doesn't realize you're there in the first place. Oh wow, it's the Jarl! Bro, you poke the Jarl but get no response. What the hell? You are disturbing us. What do you want? Please, be quick about it. I see the Jarl is with you. The Jarl? Oh, you mean that kind gentleman who promised to keep me company? Yes, he needs to come home to Fornsiktuna. No, he does not. The city has plenty of people. Just got off work, and gonna drive to get some Mackies now. Maybe I'll be back soon enough to catch your stream still. Oh, thank you so much for watching, <gasps> Shay. I hope I'll see you again soon. <sighs> Shush, dear. No, Lady Hero. This man has chosen to stay with me. And stay here. He I'm, I'm doing the heart hands for you. 
We shall see about that. No, we shall not. You should really go for a refreshing dive. Oh no, she's teleporting me. As the Holdra's gaze meets yours, suddenly the world becomes a blur. Yep, I've been teleported back out here. You wander through the forest in a daze, then you walk across Lake Ganvik, still in a daze. Oh. Shit. Your last thought is, that Holdra plays mean, then you grow very, very cold. Good thing I saved. You are dis- Have you heard of Svartalfheim? I am told it must be quite horrible. Without any trees or plants, and with nasty little sparts of fire everywhere. You should stop asking after such a vile thing. There are much better places for a lady to travel to. I see the Jarl is with you. The Jarl? Yes. No, he doesn't. Shush. I bid you farewell. Leave us to ourselves. Okay, I'm going to save again, and I'm going to see if I can cast a spell on her. You should really go for a refreshing dive. Okay, so the same thing's happening again. What if I cast it on the Yarl? Nothing happens. Right. Wait, what? Burnt crystal? All that is left of your beautiful gemstone is ashes. Well, it wasn't that important anyway. You're sure you can manage without it. They weigh one murka. When did that happen? Hmm. Maybe it can't exist outside of Svartalva... Svartalfheim. Alright, well, I didn't come here to speak to the Jarl. I wonder if I've gotten good enough at climbing to get up here. No. Alright. Let's blink up. Hopefully this isn't a trap. Okay. Let's go up. Who's this? Hello, Traveler. What brings you to this old watchtower? When I came here, I was allowed to take one of the banners with me. It reminds me of home. I suppose it also proclaims this here tower as Ilfings. Aye, tis me bed. I was never one for plush mattresses or thick pillows. A true adventurer sleeps on straw, or just on the ground. A shiny candelabra stands on top of the fireplace. It is not lit, because with a fire like this going, who needs a candle light? In a stern winter like this, having a fireplace in your room is quite the luxury. It appears to be stocked with enough wood to last a long time. A single, well-used book lies on the table. Could this be the famous adventurer's guidebook that Angrim wrote? You see a man with the poise of an experienced warrior, and the scars of many a battle. Although he looks somewhat gaunt from sickness, he is determined not to let this keep him down. So, tell me why you come to visit old Arngrim in his lonely watchtower here. Please tell me about yourself. Me name is Arngrim. I keep watch here over the Lake Gandavik with me trusty blade Tearfin. So far it has been ice all winter, but if spring should break, I shall be the first to see it. 
What is Fonsic Tuna like? Ah, fair Fonsic Tuna. How I miss it. Uh, I used to be the master of the Adventures Guild, you know. You have been there, yes? Do you wish to talk about it? What do you think about the Jarl? Ilfing be our Jarl. All Fonsic Tuna is sore to his service, as am I. He is fair as Jarls go, but he knows not how to deal with the endless winter. None of them do. Tell me of Voland the Smith. Our master craftsman. He supplies the Jarl's troops with all their weapons. He be an okay fellow, but not nearly as good at tail swapping. Now I be a bored man sitting in me tower, so I like to hear a good story from me as well. I shall speak of my travels through Svartalfheim. I have traveled through the Gate of Nine Worlds into the dark depths of Svartalfheim, home to trolls and lindworms. Very nice. And thank ye for brightening up me day with a good tale. Now, what were we talking about? What is Fonsic Tuna like? Ah, fair f- you. Yeah. What do you know about Hervor? Ah, Volan's little beauty. Me thinks they're deeply in love, but I always thought there'd be something odd about her. They say she hails from a faraway land, and nobody knows which land exactly. Do you know Orvindal? Old Orvi is a windbag. Talks entirely too much and never seems to accomplish anything. That's wizards for you, of course. Surely you have met Jaime. A vivid little boy is Jaime. Tis good to see the city can still be lively in the midst of winter. Since we be here trading stories, tis only fair that you tell me one of yours now. Alright. In Minarvagir lurks the treacherous Thieves' Lodge. In the middle of the night they shall sneak into your room so silent as not to awaken a mouse and find your most precious belongings. Impressed I am, yeah? Twas a good story. Now did you have any more questions for me? Can you train me? I would like to, but I have not practical to teach ye. Oh, okay. What can you tell me of the forest? Well, you braved the woods to come here, and well done. I reckon I can tell you tales of anything you found in Yanvidir. Hmm. I want to know about I the woman. I saw a woman in a circle of flame. Aye, I have seen her midst the circle of flames. The story goes that she be a Valkyrie and has offended Odin the High One, so he exiled her. Hard to know for certain, though. It is said the flames will only part for the approach of a brave and fearless warrior. Now I be a bored man sitting in me tower, so I like to hear a good story from you as well. Okay, so I need to pay this guy with stories in order to keep getting more information out of him. Once, the king asked me to find his three magical treasures. There was a chest, ever full of gold, and a magical shield that would protect its owner from all harm. Finally, there was a mirror that foretold the future. Yeah, I do not believe a word of what you are saying. Not a good storyteller, are you? <laughs> Let me tell how I killed a ghost pirate with my root beer. On his translucent ghost ship, he caused terror among the islands, looking for the governor he had fallen in love with, with his evil crew consisting also of ghosts. Yeah, I do not believe a word of what you are saying. Not a good storyteller, are you? <laughs> On an island, I fought the Spectre of Chaos with my staff. A priest of darkness had caused the sky to open, drawing forth the Spectre of Chaos. I fought to undo its damage until my mentor and I finally came face to face with Chaos in our ancestral home. Yeah, I do not believe oh, a word on, that of what was you a were good saying. Story. Not a good storyteller, are you? I cannot think of a good story. Then we be finished talking for now. 
Come back when ye have an interesting tale to tell me. This is a really interesting part of the game. A character who'll only talk so, to you, have you thought of a if I you cannot... tell him stories. <laughs> the Adventurer's Guidebook by Angrim Otarsson. Ages passed. At the dawn of time, in the primordial void of Gin Ginunga Gap, the Aesir gods fought a lengthy war against the Jotun, or Frost Giants. Finally, Odin, lord of the Aesir, struck down mighty Ymir, father of all giants, and from his remains the gods carved Midgard, the realm of humankind, and they banished the surviving Frost Giants to the icy plains of Jotunheim. But the Jotun have sworn revenge, and wise Odin knows that their banishment will not last. Prophecy states that they will one day be free, and will wreak devastation upon Midgard, and slaughter the Aesir. This fateful day is called the Twilight of the Gods, Ragnarok. Many lifetimes have passed. Now, the forest of Yanvadir has been struck by a winter harsher than anyone can remember. Trolls and wolves stalk the night. Trade caravans disappear in the cold, and former neighbours turn against each other. The people ache for spring, but see no end to the frost and snowstorms. With fearful whispers, they wonder if the Jotun have at least have at last returned, and if the end of the world is at hand. The Aesir are, no are the Norse gods, who defeated the frost giants at the dawn of time, and carved the world of Midgard out of their leader. They are seldom seen by mortals, and live in the realm of Asgard, which can only be reached by the Rainbow Bridge Bifrost. Oh wow, there's a lot of lore here. Earth, Vathandi, and Skuld are the mysterious guardians of the Web of Fate. Even the Aesir must answer to what they set in store for the future. Many creatures make their home in Yanvadir, that many prov that may provide travelers with interesting encounters, a source of food, or a hazard to be wary of. If you find yourself in combat, it is best to wait for an opening between an enemy's attacks and strike then. If you attack while an enemy is attacking, you will likely get hurt and do less damage as a result. These undead warriors are found haunting Yanvadir in the night, stealing life from any victims they come across. The Svartalfar are a mysterious race of black elves with a strong affinity for magic, in particular, illusion. They are renowned as master smiths and craftsmen, but are not known to interact with humans much. The Durogar are related or possibly identical to Svartalfar. Haugbui. The incorporeal undead is a powerful spellcaster and highly dangerous. Where Draug are essentially mindless. Oh. Where Draug are essentially mindless, the Haugbui has a malevolent and vengeful intelligence to seek out its victims. It raises from its grave shortly after nightfall, and will keep doing so until its grave is found, its bones burned to ash, and the ashes scattered to the winds. Holdra, a seductive forest creature who appears as a stunningly beautiful naked woman from the front, but who is hollow like a tree trunk from behind. Dangerously mesmerizing, many a man has gone missing after falling under the Holdra's spell. Border. Warden spirits which follow certain persons from their birth right through to their death. These can appear as positive energies for that person. Uh, Jotun. The Jotun, or Frost Giants, are the ancient enemies of the Aesir. Most of them have been banished to the icy plains of Jotunheim, but those that remain in Midgard have sworn vengeance on the humans who they feel have stolen their world. Many creatures make their home in Yanvadir that may provide travelers with interesting encounters, a source of food, or a hazard to be wary of. Fox, a small furry creature which hunts smaller creatures for food. Foxes tend to take shelter in their dens. A large wild pig that forages in the woods for roots and insects, it will defend itself with intense vigor if surprised or cornered. Boars can be a good meal to the seasoned hunter. A large and ferocious creature that is part bear, part elk, and part lizard. It is known for its eating habits. It will gorge on its kill until it is swollen and unable to eat more, and then find two trees to squeeze between, pushing the meat further into its body. That's gross. <laughs> oh no, it's bear elk lizard. Half bear, half elk, half lizard. 
Moose. A large species of deer, the moose spends most of its day foraging for plant matter for food. You should never use a toothbrush to carve your initials on a moose. A large black bird which feeds on insects, grains, fruit, and carrion. The raven is the symbol of Odin, and ravens are his spies throughout Midgard, finding out secrets to tell to the god of wisdom. A large wild wolf with a terrible howl, it scours the woods looking for prey to satisfy its hunger. Even a single varg is strong enough to take down an unprepared traveller. In the heart of Midgard, realm of the humans, lies the forest known as Yanvedir, or the Iron Woods. It is a prosperous region, but dangerous to the unarmed traveller. It is, a, it is especially hazardous in winter, when the varg prowl the woods and at night when the trolls come out. I'll read the rest later. Okay, so that is what is in this tower. I might... Oh, mm. Well, I have been meaning to try and grab some of those flowers, so... I might see... If I can... Grab some of the blue flowers. You scramble down the cliff onto the lake shore below. I don't remember who it was that wanted the flowers. Was it um, the wizard or was it Lyf? I'm not sure. I'm going to try catching a fish. You cast your net hoping for a catch, but it comes up empty. Perhaps you lack the affinity with animals, or you're simply not lucky enough to have the Aesir smile upon you. Oh yeah, I also want that magic scarf that can apparently keep me warm. I can't believe the Jarl has gotten himself into this situation. Oh god. Do not want. Nope. Wrong menu. Ah, run. Run for it. Run for it, Rosanthia. Good lord. I do not want to fight this thing. Oh my god. Oh, it's gone. Praise the lord. There's no way I could beat that thing in a fight. Ah, a brigand, excellent. I don't mind fighting a brigand, they're not that tough. Ugh. <laughs> I want to ruin him with my magic. Haha. <laughs> I find nothing on his body, unfortunately. I wish I could take his sword and shield. All right, I'm going to save here.
Yeah, there it is. In the harsh northern lands, even the flowers are chillingly lethal. There we go, one of the flowers falls to the ground below, but it still looks dangerous to the touch. There we go. Alright, maybe I can put it in a vial? If I could make the flower warm enough, okay. Hahaha! <laughs> You try to cause the flower to melt, but fail. Oh damn, that doesn't work? Can I wrap it up in the net? Hmm... Maybe I need the scarf? Hmm, I'm gonna have to try again later. Maybe when I have another item or something. I'm gonna go talk to the wizard. Maybe he has new information for me. Oh, hello, doggy. Garm is happy to let you pet him, but is too well trained to otherwise respond to you. Oh, good dog. Good boy. Jarl Ilfing cannot speak to you today, as he is not in the castle. How can I help you? What is Jarl Ilfing like? He is a fair ruler. He has kept our fine city safe for several decades. Although his hair be grey, he can still best most of us in battle. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. It's wizard time, baby! Hello, Herva. Thank you for returning our son to us. Have you been to Minarvagir? I have seen it. It is much like Fort Sigtuna. Have you heard of Svartalfheim? Very little, save that it is perilous. The stone circle in Yarnvedir is the gate. What can you tell me of the forest? There are raiders and vargs by day, trolls and undead by night. Avoid the trolls. Of what would you hear? I saw a woman in a circle of flame. Brynhild is a true Valkyrie who took a mortal lover against the wish of Odin the Raven God. The Aesir enchanted her lover to forget her and imprisoned her in the flames. Well, that sucks. Why is there a naked girl in the forest? The Huldra is the lure of foolish men. Be glad you are not one. A Huldra or a man? <laughs> Why is there a sword in the tree? The sword, Balmung. Ask my husband. I have been to the Grand Lake. It is beautiful. They say a large eagle, better Fulnir, lives at its edge and flaps its wings to make the winds blow. The Lake Ganvik is a lake that is vital to the trade in Fornsic Tuna, as many traders wish to use the lake to ply their trade across Ganvik. Thank you, wizard. I came across the frozen garden. 
Hulk Mimi's Holt is not meant to be frozen. Wait, what? I came across the frozen garden. Hulk Mimi's Holt is not meant to be frozen. I don't remember the frozen garden. Have you been to a circle of runic stones? The gate of nine worlds. Only a true heroine may pass. What of the keep west in Yarnvadir? Gastropnir is the Jotun's keep. Stay well away. Are you- No. The guildmaster, who is master of the guild, has fallen sick. He is no longer able to master the guild because of the sickness that mastered him. If you need something, meet me in the guild. So where are you from? Please, do not ask me that. I cannot go back, and I miss it. Oh, that sucks. I bid you farewell. Be always welcome here. The wizard's voice makes me think of Yahtzee. I have little time to talk now, because our Jarl Ilfing has disappeared. He has failed to appear some time ago, which is why I have to make him appear, rather than talking too much. How may I be of assistance on this moon's day? Or can I otherwise help by assisting you? Mm. I am curious what magic you have for sale. Since you asked me what I sell, I could sell you a magic potion or two, which are potions that I have created through magic. If you have the talent, I can also sell you a spell of shadow and a spell of flame. But these require the talent of magic to use. And since you are a practitioner of the arts, there is an artful game that I could show you about the arts that would help you practitioner them. I want something to keep me warm so I can explore Yanvadir. Oh, but what about the shadow Tell me spell? About the shadow spell. Never fear if you need to escape from some creature that you are afraid of. The shadow spell creates an illusory duplicate of you and compels the creature that you fear to focus its attention on the illusion rather than on you, enabling you to escape from its fearful presence. Okay, I don't want that right now. I'd rather have the, the scar. I need something to keep me warm. Certainly. I have this magical device that will magically keep you warm if you place the device magically around your neck. It is made from real wool. Very magical. You mean a scarf? Well... Actually, it is a scarf. And it will keep you warm as a scarf, which is almost like magic. Except that instead of using magic, you can use a scarf. 20. I'm gonna see if you'll take 11. That is a laughable offer. And I will laugh at it because of how laughable it is. <laughs> Offer me a better deal so that we may laugh together at a more suitable offer. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I don't have enough money to make a better offer. You told me riddles are your hobby. Indeed, I told you that my hobby is riddles, for riddles are indeed my hobby. Let us play the game of riddles, which is a game in which we exchange riddles. Since I am looking for a challenge, you will need to travel to find more riddles to challenge me with. If your challenge is a riddle for which I have no answer, I shall instead answer you with a reward for your riddling. So, I'm playing the ancient game of riddles, which is a set of ancient riddles played as a game. Since these are ancient, you are not allowed to make up your own answer. You must learn the ancient answer from someone who knows the game of old. My riddle for you, which I will give to you now, is the following. What turns everything around without moving? I have no answer for you. Then you must seek out the answer by searching for it until you have sought well and know the answer. Okay. Uh, show me this game of yours. Very well. It is well that you want to see this game, and I would like to see if you play the game well. 
Okay. Apparently that's the only thing I can do. Oh, I see. Reset. Puzzle was for properly warming up, and it ensures that you are now warm, and up for the other puzzles, which would have been quite puzzling without warming up properly. This next test, which is coming up next to test you, requires the sixth sense spell and the plus spell to be a good test for you to take next. The sixth sense spell will make the Valkyrie sensibly turn in the other direction when hitting a wall until you cast it again. Use the Bless spell to raise or lower Blessed Barriers. Ah. I am going into town, which is where I am going, and request that you leave my chambers while I am in town, by my request. You should now leave the castle, for the guards of the castle will not appreciate you being in the guarded castle without their leave. Okay. Oh, hello, Jaime. Ah, some time has passed. Okay, I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna head out and see if the Haug buoy is there. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna see if I can kill it. Damn it, I wanted to dodge that. No! <laughs> okay. Ah. No, 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 no! No! Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, cool. I can dodge down for that one. Oh. oh god, I don't think I could survive another hit. Oh no. Yes! I did it! I killed the Haug buoy! Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna rest, then I'm gonna s then I'm gonna go see the wizard in the morning, tell him I've killed the Hout buoy, and then I'm gonna finish up the stream. I shall leave you in peace. Several hours later, you awaken much refreshed. Oh, yeah. All 
Okay. Might need to rest an hour. Well, wait an hour. There we go. Now I can get in. I have little time to talk now. I may I be of assistance? Did you post a note about a hog buoy? Indeed. A dangerous hog buoy has been spotted near the city gate, where it poses a danger to those crossing the gate when this hog buoy is dangerously present. Yes, I read that. So what is a hog buoy exactly? It is an undead spirit, which has risen from the dead to become undead, and no longer dead. It shall be your task to make it dead again, instead of undead. Well, that was very helpful. The Hogbui is an undead spellcaster, who casts spells as an undead to drain your life force. If it casts a slow spell, you should react quickly to disrupt the spell it is slowly casting with your reaction. Okay, well. I wish you good health. Fare thee well. By which I mean I wish you good welfare, and that everything you fare, fares in fact well. Okay, so apparently the Hogbui is not entirely dead. I have not disposed of it properly. Oh, hang on a minute. Boland, come back! Where'd he go? Did he go in here? There he is. Hey lad, I need to speak to you. Thank you again for rescuing our son. You will always be welcome in Forn Sigtuna. I would like to buy some of your wares. Meet me in my workshop, and I shall show you my craft. What can you tell me about the city? Forn Sigtuna is the grandest city in this part of Midgard. It is the capital of Yanvadir and the major trade destination on Lake Ganvik. There is a village southeast of here, which is under protection of our Jarl, even though the inhabitants do not wish to be. Do you remember Arngrim? He is a comrade in arms and the adventurer's guildmaster in Fornsigtuna. He is in self-imposed exile because of his illness, so my wife is taking care of the guild in his absence. Okay. Let us speak later. You are always welcome with us. There we go. Now I should be all rested up. There we go. Save. Save. And quit. So, with that, oh my god, I hate how my windows all shift around when I, uh, I hate how my windows all, oh god damn it, I hate how my windows all shift around when I close that game because of the resolution. There we go. Alright, there's nobody here at the moment, but I'll go to this scene anyway because I like seeing it. Um, so yeah... That was fun. Thank you so much to Berserker, Black Sparrow, and Shay for stopping by and chatting with me. That was awesome. And to anyone who's watching this after the stream, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. So as always, I'll be wishing you all a good day, a better night, and the best goodbye. <laughs>